everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Safety is of paramount importance in the aviation industry. Through stringent procedures, tests, and certification by governing entities, the industry has experienced a continuous decline in the number of accidents, to which some will be highlighted in today's feature. The airworthiness of an aircraft is tested well before it goes on full production. Manufacturers must obtain certifications from governing bodies, like the European Union Aviation Safety Agency or the U.S. Federation Aviation Administration, to ensure the production, maintenance, and operation of the aircraft are in compliance with the set standard. Our job in the FAA is to make sure that when people leave the ground, they're safe. So this means when you go and fly on an airline to go visit your family or your friends, the FAA makes sure that that airline is operating safely so that you can travel safely. Nowadays, the demanding nature of modern airliners has urged aircraft manufacturers to go the extra mile and rigorously test the various components of an aircraft. Pram, 30-second test, file two. Without powerful jet engines, aircraft are just standing structures of aerodynamic engineering. Costing roughly about 12 to $35 million, these aircraft powerhouses contribute significantly to the entire cost of an airplane. Due to this, several tests are deployed and conducted to prove the effectiveness and reliability of these engines before they enter service. One of the tests is the water ingestion tests, for which the aircraft has to taxi through a specialized water trough built and monitored by the flight test crew of the aircraft. It is a test to study the spray characteristics of the aircraft to ensure it is not dangerous to the aircraft operation. After they're done, they come back, they'll shut down and a group of engineers go out and do a, a set of inspections just to check the engine, the APU, um, some systems in the wheel well, and. Um, anything that we think might be damaged structurally by a, a really strong uh, spray plume. Basically, this test is a simulation method for the aircraft operating in heavy rains or landing at a waterlogged runway. It assesses not only the proper functioning of engines and their thrust reversers, but also the aircraft's brake systems. Other water tests include forcing a steady stream of water or firing loosely compacted ice cubes into the engines to check the engine's capability of cruising through a hail cloud. Further hot and cold tests are also conducted to examine the ability of the aircraft to withstand and operate in freezing temperatures and other extreme weather conditions. 
For instance, in 2014, the Airbus A350 XWB was taken to a Colowit in Canada to analyze its engine's readiness and endurance levels in temperatures as low as negative 28 degrees Celsius, in which it passed with flying colors. Besides the jet engines, other components, such as the airframe and fuselage of the aircraft, are also put through dynamic tests to evaluate the force that it can withstand. For this, the aircraft is pressurized into a cage of around 2,500 tons of steel to test its structural limits. The wings are flexed to their maximum capacity, and the entire body of the plane goes through stages of fatigue testing. Sensors are placed on the airframe to monitor the pressure exerted and the maximum load that can be handled by the aircraft's structure. We may be familiar with some of the standard safety procedures on board an aircraft, but there are also many hidden in-flight safety features not known to many. From your seats being fireproof to the small hole in the window, which prevents it from exploding due to the pressure. Aircraft manufacturers have always gone to a great extent in ensuring safety on board. But beyond providing world-class service to make your flight comfortable, the crew on board is also trained to react to various emergencies, such as flight ditching, which arises when a plane lands in the water. The crew is trained with water survival techniques to safely secure the passengers onto a watercraft until search and rescue arrive. Different aircraft have different emergency and safety systems, which may call for different procedures, and the cabin crew must be competent in handling all of them. As today's aircraft can fly greater distances, it eliminates the need for a layover. Thus, a flight often carries more crew on board, working in shifts during long-haul flights. When they're not in the cabin, these crew can be found in the crew rest compartments. Usually, these compartments are segregated for the flight crew and the cabin crew, and are mostly used on long-haul flights, with multiple crew members on board. Even the galley technology of an aircraft has evolved from just storing and preparing food for the passengers to be durable, user-friendly, and lightweight to reduce fuel consumption of the plane. Aircraft manufacturers constantly research and develop new technology to make the aircraft more cost-efficient without jeopardizing safety and comfort. Today's aircraft is far more sophisticated than its predecessors, and one can only imagine what the future has to offer in this soaring industry. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.